The Berlin Wall by Carrie Simon. After the end of World War II in July 1945, the Allied forces and Russian officials met in the Berlin suburb Potsdam to discuss post-war terms. The Allies agreed that Berlin, even though it was well within the Soviet zone, would be divided into four sectors, the American, British, and French in the West, and the Soviet in the East. The Allied powers tried to make their side of Germany self-sufficient after its weakened state due to the war. That was unacceptable to the Soviets in the East, and they quickly dismantled German industry. The Soviets tried to drive the Western powers out of Germany by surrounding Western Berlin, and on June 24, 1948, the Soviet Union began the Berlin blockade, cutting Western Berlin off from supplies by closing off railroads and highways. The next day, the United States began the Berlin airlift to keep Berlin supplied with food and fuel. This caused the East to back down but increase tension and caused the complete separation of the city. The German Federal Republic was proclaimed in the West and the German Democratic Republic was proclaimed in the East. On July 25, 1961, just days before the border between East and West Berlin was to be closed, President John F. Kennedy gives a speech in which he says, The immediate threat to f free men is in West Berlin. Those who threaten to unleash the forces of war on a dispute over West Berlin should recall the words of an ancient philosopher. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. And he stressed the fact that an attack on West Berlin would also be an attack on NATO. Nikita Khrushchev reacts to President Kennedy's speech by saying, You can convince yourself that Khrushchev will never go to war, so you scare us, expecting us to retreat. True, we will never declare war, but we will not withdraw either. On August 13, 1961, the border between East and West Berlin is closed and construction of the first physical barrier between the two begins almost immediately. This barrier is to be known as the Berlin Wall. Over the course of the wall's 28 years of existence, an estimated 10,000 East Berliners tried to escape to the West. About 5,000 made it. In the beginning, the wall was just barbed wire so people could just run through or jump over it. Later, the barbed wire was removed and replaced with a wall of concrete blocks with round caps put on the top to make it even harder to climb over. This made people get more creative with their escape tactics. For example, one family, the Weitzels, flew across the border in, in a homemade hot air balloon. By 1975, construction of the infamous Border Wall 75 begins. Th this addition made the wall 12 feet high and 4 feet wide and almost impossible to break through, even with an armed vehicle. Americans felt it necessary to intervene to make East Berlin free, so on June 26, 1963, President J.F. Kennedy visits West Berlin and gives a speech in which he says, What is true of this city is true of Germany. Real, lasting peace in Europe can never be assured as long as one German out of four is denied the elementary right of free men, and that is to make a free choice and declares his famous words, each being ein Berliner, I am a Berliner. Kennedy's efforts did not result in the wall coming down, so in 1987, President Ronald Reagan visits Berlin and formally calls on Soviet leader Gorbachev to directly tear down the Berlin Wall, saying, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. The American support gives hope to the East Berliners, and on November 4, 1989, an estimated 1 million people attended a pro-democracy demonstration in East Berlin's main square. Within days, the East German government resigns. And on November 9, 1989, the East German government announces that visits to West Germany and West Berlin will be permitted. Thousands of East Berliners pass into West Berlin as border guards stand by. People began tearing down the wall by hand and were happily greeted by West Berliners as the wall comes down. People began to spray paint and tear off pieces of the wall for souvenirs. This marked the beginning of the end of the wall and by 1990 there was nothing left and, the Ber and Berlin and Germany were whole again. The Berlin Wall was a physical representation of the tension between the Soviet Union and the Allied forces after the war. During the Cold War, the U.S. and the Soviet Union were in a dispute but trying not to go to war. The conflict in Berlin made the fear of war much more of a reality. 
The fall of the Berlin Wall was a major factor in, in ending the Cold War and was the start of, to the peaceful Europe we know today.